Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who are conscious of the fact that the daily lifestyle of the messenger preaches an even bigger message than the messages preached from the pulpit on Sundays. Yes, that's because Matthew 5, 15 to 16 makes it clear that we need to shine our light before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. Warm welcome to your Gospel Encouragement Program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragement. Hearty thanks to everyone who is making an effort to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe. May God richly bless you as you continue to do so. If you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Mommy Reads Biblical TV, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and share, and may the Lord richly bless you as you do so. If you have not yet given your life to Christ, please do so before it becomes too late. And if you gave your life to Christ but took it back, please give it back to Christ now that you still have the opportunity to do so. And if Christ is Lord and Savior of your life, live a life that will attract others to Christ and not repel them from Christ. We pray for direction on ways to continue to get the gospel across so that that brother and sister can become as saved as yourself and myself. May God continue to equip and empower us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today again, we are here to remind you or to invite you to the seat edition of the annual life-changing retreat for families. Slated for June 30th and July 1st, 2023 in Vesteros, Sweden. You can also join us online on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. We encourage you to tag somebody along as you do so. This year's theme is Purposeful Man, Purposeful Woman. Fulfill purpose. And our main passage is Colossians chapter 3 from verse 23 to 25. And so, so far we've been able to tell ourselves that it is important for us to prepare our hearts so that we'll be able to receive the word, we'll be able to worship and praise God in spirit and in truth. And so today in Slots 3, 14, we have a stop peak. Spread the news. Yes, it is time for us to go out there and tell people about the conference. And our main passage is Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 15. With the key verse being verse 14, in which we are asked, the Lord is asking us the question. We are asked the question, how will they know if they are not told? It is important for us to go out there and tell people about the good news of salvation and also to invite people for this conference. And as you go out there to invite people, we are expected to do so by word of mouth. Yes, that's why 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 makes it clear that we should preach the word of God in and out of season. Remember that the apostles in Acts chapter 2, after they have been waiting on God and they have received the Holy Spirit, they are now empowered to go out and do what they are instructed to do in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, to tell all and sundry about the good news. And so we too are called upon to tell all and sundry about the good news of this conference. And so as we tell them by word of mouth, we should also tell them by virtue of the life that we live on a daily basis. Yes, that's because Matthew 7, 15 to 20 makes it clear that by our fruits, we shall be known. Remember that in Acts eleven twenty six, it is the people who saw the believers' behaviors and decided to call them Christians, followers of Christ. And so our lifestyle should be a reflection of those who are the light of the world, a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden, according to Matthew 5, 14. And as we go to tell the people about the conference, we should mind our approach. 1 Thessalonians 5, 14 tells us to be patient, to be kind, to encourage the weak. And so don't judge anybody, don't condemn anybody. Tell them about the conference, tell them about the gospel by showing love on a daily basis. And also we are expected to tell them the message quickly because in Matthew 28, 7, we are told to go and tell them quickly. Tell them quickly. It is urgent so that they will not just attend the conference, but they will also be part of what God has programmed for us. As we are telling them quickly, who are we going to tell? We should tell everybody. Apostle Paul is telling us in Romans 1, 14, that he's out there preaching the gospel to the rich, the poor, the literate, the illiterate. Don't rule anybody out and don't be ruled out by anybody. Tell even that believer, yes, because that believer might be looking good on the outside, but is rotten on the inside. That's why 1 Samuel 16, 7 makes it clear that appearances are deceptive. 
Tell even that person who is looking physically okay because some people are looking physically okay but are not spiritually okay. And that is why it is important for us to tell them so that Matthew 11, 28 to 30 will give them the opportunity to come all who are weary and heavy laden so that God will give them rest. Don't despise that brother or sister whom you think that is too bad. Nobody is too bad for God to save. If God can save the thief on the cross in Luke 23, 42 to 43, therefore God can save any other person. Tell that sinner about the Savior. Don't be discouraged by that person's past. The likes of Mary Magdalene and Rahab had a past that was not good. But they came to God and in Isaiah 43, 19, God did something new because he says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. And so tell all and sundry about the good news and about the conference. If Christ is not your Lord and Savior of your life, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Give me the power to live right and to hate sin. Behold, you'll be getting it right before it becomes too late. The Bible is the road. Jesus, the code. Sin, the obstacle. And heaven, the destination. Shalom, good people of God.